Hi, welcome to the Daily Pivots version 1 demo. Um, I'm going to talk you through how you install the product and also how you configure it within the MT4 trading platform. Uh, first of all, the product comes as a zip file which is downloaded um, when you purchase it online. Uh, the zip file consists of three files which are an EX4 file, Daily Pivots version 1.ex4, a data sheet and also installation instructions. There's also an additional file called functions.ex4 which is sent separately uh, or downloaded separately and that basically controls um, time and copy protection parameters, all those sort of things. Um, so the first thing to do is to put the daily pivots version 1.ex4 file into the underlying indicators directory within the MT4 file system. The way you do this is simply by clicking on the file, right click on it, copy it, close this little browser window down, go into your file system using Internet Explorer. Um, typically the Experts and Indicators um, folder resides under C and you go to Program Files and depending on which broker you use for MetaTrader it would typically be particularly in a directory called MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader Alpari um, my particular version I'm going to use here is actually called ODL MetaTrader. My, my broker is actually ODL Securities. So here's the ODL file structure here, you can see on the screen. And we need to put our demo file or our EX4 file into the experts and indicators folder in here. So just simply open the indicators folder like I've done here and then right click and um, select paste or just press Control V and that will put the EX4 file you copied earlier into the indicators folder. Do exactly the same thing with the functions.ex4 file but put it in the libraries folder which is also underneath the experts um, folder um, within the ODL or the, within the MetaTrader 4 file system. So that's the installation done. The only thing we've got to do now is to run the um, meta editor and because we need to actually compile run the compiler so that um, MetaTrader actually sees the, the executable files within the navigator and that will become clear shortly so we just click this little icon here which is sort of like a, a yellow um, road sign with a warning signal in it and this will basically load the meta editor for us um, once that's loaded here it comes all we need to do is click file And then we open up um, any prepackaged indicator which ships with the MetaTrader environment, such as um, MACD, um, RSI, Accelerator, there are tons of them. So go into the indicators folder again, you can navigate around the usual way. And all we need to do is pick up this accelerator file here. You can see the accelerator file is loaded. Um, Nothing else to do, just go into the, this compile button in the middle of the screen, top menu bar, click compile, and you will see down here in this little error window a message coming up saying zero error, zero warnings. That's it, you're finished. So we just close the editor and go into our MetaTrader environment, any chart we want. So in this case, we've got a dollar yen chart. Go into our custom indicators folder and select daily pivots v1 drag it across onto the chart and we can configure the inputs first thing as well is make sure the allow external input experts imports ta um, a radio button here is actually tagged or ticked that's important um, in terms of functionality, we've got a whole range of things that we can do. We can hide our intermediate M levels. We can enable a pivot alert system at a particular level. We can um, define a certain number of pips around that um, pivot level where the alert will trigger. We can change the pivot line colors, pivot line lengths, depending on each time frame. Um, so it's pretty granular. So that's just okay that we can see some pivots coming up on the screen. So 
first of all you can see here a range of this is a full pivot array so we're going all the way through from the S2 to R2 with intermediate M level pivots M1, M2, M3, M4 um, let's just show you how we can easily change the color of the system so just go into your indicator um, you may want to hide the M levels just click true for hide M levels close that and now you can see the M levels have disappeared um, we may want to um, change the central line color to say yellow easy to do done um, we may want to set a pivot alert at central pivot and we may want to give it 20 pips whatever we want and that is done so very quick very simple very easy to use we can change the the line lengths if you want to so if this is a, a four hour chart if we want to change the length of the pivot lines on the four hour chart simply go down to line length or edge four change it to maybe over three periods so that will shorten our line lengths you can see now the actual pivot lines are being drawn over the zero period and the one two and third period so that's kind of it really um, it's, um, it's a simple and neat tool uh, which allows you to keep a, a track on intraday support and resistance um, based upon the uh, ubiquitous pivot level system. Uh, any questions, please visit the web website, info at fxarbitrader.com. Thank you very much.